What's going on, everybody? I'm Mike. I'm Jackie. And today we're going to talk about a movie that the internet just can't get enough of. <laughs> um, and it, it's kind of, we just want to talk about our general thoughts about the whole situation, I guess, because it's something that's sort of devolved on the internet. Like, I see videos about this daily in my feed, and I love this. I, the thing I like about this movie is the amount of, like, controversy it, it's, like, stirring up around the, like, YouTube community. And I, I do like hearing about this movie because people are very, I've never seen a fan base more divided in my life. <laughs> um, and to get right to it, we're talking about Star Wars The Last Jedi. Um, so, Jackie, what did you think of it like when we first saw the, the movie in the theater? Well, coming straight out of the theater, I had a great time. I thought it was great. It was entertaining. It was a fun story. Mm-hmm. You know, when you watch a movie and you get to that point where after a while you start to pick holes in it, and it's it's not a bad thing to do, but like you, you, could, you did notice a couple like plot holes or just like weird things that happened in the movie that didn't really seem like they needed to be mm-hmm. there. It was still a pretty fun movie overall, though. Like... Mm-hmm. You, you know, I was kind of like, okay, so I, I totally agree with you. I was the same way. I thought it was a fun movie out of the theater. Um, the only thing out of the theater that I wasn't happy with, and like literally every other Star Wars fan, was how uh, director Ryan Johnson handled Luke Skywalker's character. Not to nitpick at it, that was like the only thing I was really unhappy with in the theater, like on my first watch. Um, the thing I still like about this movie actually was the chemistry between Kylo Ren and Rey, like their character like the conversations they had. I thought that was the highlight of the movie. Um, and Supreme Leader Snoke's death, I actually enjoyed, even though some a lot of people are saying he was killed off preemptively. I thought it was a nice twist because to me, he just seemed like the Emperor 2.0. Um, what did you think about and eat both of those subjects? Uh, well, I'm not really a huge Star Wars fan. I like Star Wars, so I guess everything I, should, I say should be taken with a grain of salt. But like, um, I mm-hmm. actually liked how they did Luke Skywalker's character. I thought it was an unexpected turn for that character because it's like, oh, he's so happy, oh, look at him go in the first couple movies, and now he's just like a sour adult and he doesn't want, um, like, people to get back into the force because he he realizes what the damage is, like, it causes, Mm -hmm. and it's it's not the best way his character should have um, reacted to it, but it's an interesting one. I actually, I don't like the chemistry between um, Ray and Kylo Ren. Ren. Yeah, I think it was kind (laughs) I can see it working, over time it was kind of forced and we <laughs> sorry <laughs> and, and a little weird but um i don't know it was just kind of uncomfortable to watch and it was it was you thought it was awkward i thought it was awkward and it reminded me of those girls that are like i love bad boys i love when they're like so so mean and he's like you're nothing and she's like oh. and she's literally she just like runs over she doesn't literally run over to him but she's like I, I don't know. Don't, you can come tell on, she's don't, attracted to him. Don't, it's like, gee. Don't, don't you wish I looked like shirtless Kylo <laughs> Ren? No. Come on. Uh, uh, it's like like a half open bar. So. I, I I guess I guess like to keep going on that conversation though. I'll start with like what I thought about like Luke and um, I I the reason I don't like the way they handled him is he just see, okay. And this is like the common thing on the internet about Luke Skywalker right now. Um, I watch videos on this daily, but <laughs> essentially. He's just so out of character to the way he is in the original trilogy. You have to think about this. This man gave up on Ben Solo, who turned to the dark side. But think of it this way. This guy saw good in his father in the original trilogy, and he pulls him back to the light side at the very end. Even when the... This guy's... The, you gotta keep in mind, Anakin Skywalker is, like, one of the most evil people in the galaxy this time. He's murdered thousands of Jedi, and he started the Empire with the Emperor, and it's like... Luke saw good in him. He, he sensed that conflictedness in him. Kylo Ren had that same conflictedness. So why would he just give up on Ben Solo like that? He would. I don't think he would. I think he would still be trying to figure out a way to pull him back to the light. I mean, I, I'm just saying in, in general. Not to interrupt you, but I feel like over time, his idea of that would, would feel almost betrayed, kind of. Because, mm-hmm. like, he always, like, oh, he sees the good, he sees the good. Mm-hmm. But inevitably, it always, something bad always happens. And I'd love, I don't know if they would ever make a movie, and it might be kind of a mm-hmm. dumb idea because you really probably wouldn't be able to get too much out of it. I'd love to see a movie in between the time where, um, the last, I guess the movie before The Last Jedi. Uh, before you know, The Force Awakens. Force yeah. Awakens, yeah, sorry. Um, before that one. I'd, I'd love to see one more movie where, like, Harrison Ford and Mark yeah. Hamill are together or something. I just want to see, like, what happened in between that made him get so bitter about it. I, I mean, I, I, some more info we might hopefully we get some more info in episode 9 about everything that happened because I mean one of the problems with The Last Jedi 2 
there's not a whole lot of information still on what the hell is going on. Like, who are the First Order? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, how did this even happen? Like, that's one thing I'm still kind of confused about. Another thing I want to I want to cover was the Snoke part. Yeah. I like. He was kind of a bland villain. I didn't really mm-hmm. like Snoke. I liked him when he was a hologram, and you couldn't really tell like what he was entirely and what he was plotting. And then when they bring him out, and he's just like this wrinkly, pruny guy in a robe, <laughs> and it's like, hey, yeah, shit. And yeah. then they, I wish they didn't kill him off so soon because I wanted to, I wanted mm-hmm. to be afraid of that villain and actually, you know, it'd be invested. But no, as soon as he's on screen, he just he dies. What one thing? The only, my favorite line from him in the movie is when he's talking to Kylo Ren at the beginning about how he like got defeated by Rey, who's never held a lightsaber, and he's like, "Take that ridiculous mad thing <laughs> off." But his no, mask. I do like that. That too. was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I um, yeah, he he actually did have a pretty good like personnel. His actor was great. I thought the well, guy yeah. who played him. Um, I'd like to see him return as like a ghost in the next movie. There's also theories going around that he's still alive, which would be kind of interesting if there's just mm. a bunch of clones or something of him. That'd be kind of cool. I, I, I think Kylo Ren is definitely set up now to be the big bad of the trilogy, though. Um, but again, I mean, to me, I, I liked it. Um, one common criticism I see on the internet, and I kind of agree with too, after like watching this movie a few times, is there's almost too many plot twists, like in the whole movie. If you think about it, it's like, oh, this happened. Like, like at the end, like, okay, I want to talk about Finn for a minute. Mm-hmm. I love Finn. He's actually one of my favorite characters in the new trilogy. However, I did not love his arc in this movie. Um, I felt like the whole plot with the hacker was like, could have, I don't know, I sound like just like every YouTuber right now, but it could have been, they could have given him a different arc in that movie, but they could have made it a complete arc if he sacrificed himself at the end and Rose didn't hit him. Because you have to think of it this way, and I, I, this, I'm totally that ripping... That whole scene makes me mad, but yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm totally about to rip off another YouTuber, but I just I, I was talking to my boss about this at work the other day, too, and I agree with this guy on YouTube. I forget who it was, so sorry if I can't give credit. But um, essentially, his arc, it, he's a traitor to the First Order. He's, he's born into the First Order, man. Like, this guy's had a really messed up life, and he doesn't want to be a part of anything you know like even he's like i'm not with the resistance he doesn't want to be part of the first order of the resistance and at the end you know it's him giving his life for a greater good and eventually coming to terms with yeah i gave my life for the resistance so people can fight against what i was born into and you know and that would have been a complete arc for him because where the hell is his character gonna go now i'm still more curious about why they're saving him because there's obviously a reason why they want to save him i, I do like his story because he doesn't want to be on the other side and you want to see it would have been cool mm-hmm. if he did sacrifice it because it would have brought you know this is what he's fighting for you know, they would have brought that arc to a close, but maybe there's a better story for I, him. I think that? he would have been the better death in the movie than Luke, personally. Yeah. I, I I know everybody harps on this, but I really think it was stupid that she's like, oh, my greatest idea is to crash into him to save him. Yeah, that was so Even that, though that, if she hit him and killed him, then he would have died for nothing. That was single-handedly the worst part of the movie for she me. She was a good actor, and the, I oh, like her character, I, but, like, that part... I still can't believe fans harassed her I online. She, she was a great actress. I liked her character. And I, no, yeah, her character was good. I didn't mind her. And even if I didn't, like, why would you harass somebody that's just playing a part? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That, like, that stuff disgusts me, personally. And I see it happen to creators all the time. I mean... Wow, World of Warcraft, Christy Golden's a fantastic author. People mm. people were harassing her about the beginning of Battle for Azeroth online. It makes me sick. Yeah. You know, but anyway, not to get off topic. <laughs> um, the Last Jedi, the other thing I didn't care for um, was the part where Leia floats back to the ship. That should have been it, I think. You I feel know. bad. I said I, I came out liking this movie, but it's like, yeah, the more that you look at it, you can tear it apart. It, you can easily tear it apart. It, it's it's a movie that you can easily, t- and that's unfortunate, really, because yeah. I I did like it at first, and again, it's ultimately a fun movie. Yeah, it's a but, fun. It's a sci-fi movie. Like nothing's yeah. gonna be perfect. Like, and it, it, you know, it's it is what it is right now, and I, I actually think it could lead to an interesting story. But somebody I talked to at work the other day put it into a good perspective. Uh, it's like a movie where it's an airship and it goes up. But then it goes to the same place it started at the end. Because there wasn't really any character growth yeah. for a lot of people in that movie. Um, we need to talk about one more guy in this movie, Jackie. There's a couple guys or things we need to talk about. We need to talk about DJ, the hacker. That guy was useless. And he sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually... Okay, people are going to hate me for saying this. I saw a figure of him that I almost bought just for like the meme of it. <sighs> like, he's... Uh, he triggers me for some reason. He's like, don't worry. I, here's your necklace. I'm on your side. First order. Yeah. <laughs> like, and he he's definitely gonna be in the next movie at some point. I, I think. I hope not. He was just a global I know taunt. It makes sense, but I didn't like him. It's just like, oh, it's a twist. Oh, what a twist! And it's like, 
It's unnecessary and kind of just stupid. Yeah. It, the other thing that was stupid was, um, and everybody talks about it, the forced projections. Oh, I like that, actually. It was a good idea. Lo but they kind of screwed it up when he was, like, doing, when he had the, uh, the, the dice or whatever on the, on the thing that he gave to Leia, and those didn't disappear, or she felt them and was able to hold them. Like, were those in the original trilogy? I, have no I don't remember. I think they were in the new solo movie, not the original trilogy, but they were Han's dice. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, and it's one of the things. Okay, here's the thing about the Force projection. You know how I would have written Did Luke's death? Did he definite. know that he died? Um, oh, Luke, yeah. He, he finds then how out. How did he have his dice? Because he was in the Millennium Falcon. He saw them, I think. Oh. Th so the thing about the Force projection... Oh, okay. ...is that that's actually a power Jedi have, I guess. And the ex That's what my I, boss told me. I'm not that big into Star Wars, but that's what my boss told me. It's a power Jedi have. I'm fine ex. with it. That's a really cool power. I feel like not all Jedi should be able to do it, because it seems like a really, really hefty power to have. Mm -hmm. um, understandable for Luke Skywalker to have it, especially since yeah. he's been in you know isolation. Mm -hmm. Probably time to practice it. But um, it's just that... He was able to manifest those dice and mm -hmm. then, or carry them somehow, and and give them to Leia. And I then, think he manifested it for Kylo to see and Leia. But she, did, he didn't see. Did Kylo, he? he did at the end he when he's walking dice? when he's walking through the the base. He sees them disappear at the end. Oh, he, crate, yeah. Did I? Okay, I guess and, I missed that. <laughs> it, he sees it disappear and he gets like pissed off. You know. Uh. One of my oh god, I gotta say, and this, I want to get to the scene between Kylo and Luke at the end. Mark Hamill and Adam Driver are fucking fantastic in this movie, both of them. They're, like, really fucking good actors. But uh, I love that scream he does when Luke disappears. It's so <laughs> good. You know, it's, the guy's a fucking great actor, dude. Like, he showed, like, just how, like, well, you told raw emotion, yeah, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. It's something that important. You told me you, you, you were actually watching some other YouTuber who brought up a really good point. Or, um, I don't know if it was a YouTube video. Was or... it that cool thing with the slashing? No, with the lightsaber. Oh, the uh, the blue one that yeah, Luke has. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I, th I think he actually used Anakin's lightsaber to trigger Kylo rather than using his green. I would have liked to see him with his green one from Return of the Jedi, but I think he used Anakin's to just trigger Kylo Ren. And I'm guessing, but the thing that the well, only the big plot hole with that is yeah. he knows Ray has it. What would lead up to that? Why well, I, I didn't see. Any, then again, I, I said I wasn't a huge fan of Star Wars. So I'm not too like on to top him of it. with the lightsaber. Why would that make him so mad? Because he worships like uh, Darth Vader, oh. and I think he wants that lightsaber oh, or something. Okay. I mean, the only thing, the only the big thing people say it's a plot hole because Ray had it, but I guess in theory he could have, she could have given him the lightsaber, the base. I mean, he didn't really know that either. Mm. But I think he did it to piss him off. Um, I do like how he like trolls him and then just disappears. <laughs> See you around, kid. <laughs> I um That's no. To pick at because Ray's an okayish character, but then all of a sudden she's like blessed with unfathomable. Power. unfathomable uh force powers yeah that's a big problem in the new trilogy yeah. for me it's um no it's not good she's i do like her still but she um i don't know why i just somebody another thing somebody said was they her and finn could have had the same character and it would have made more sense like if they combined yeah. the two <laughs> i i honestly want to see finn become a jedi at this point he'd be cool that would be cool um but how I would have written the whole force projection thing at the end, like, I would have kept it pretty much the same. You know, Luke beats him without even being there. Mm. That, that's a pretty big slap in the face to Kylo. But like, I would have that scene. It, I wouldn't have killed Luke's death. Should have been in Episode Nine. I wouldn't have killed him off in Eight. But the big thing I, at the end where he has the sun, it, they should have had it as like maybe like a sunrise again or something, and then have him realize I need to help the resistance and raise his old X-wing out just like he did a Dago and then fly and then the lead into Episode Nine somehow kind of cheesy but i don't think he should have died in this movie i think that was a big problem because mm. to me they need he needed more it's luke skywalker everybody wants to see him on screen still you know i know in my my argument to this is people say it's about the new characters but these movies have had plenty of the old ones still to justify keeping him around that's just me i'm sure mark hamill was confirmed to be in episode nine so he'll be back as a force ghost <laughs> But I, I, that's just what I think. I, his death, his death was the one that disappointed me in the yeah. movie. I, I loved seeing Luke in that movie though. He was, it, it was good. He, even the way his character was, it still brought a smile to my face and mm -hmm. reminded me of the old movies. And, you know, overall, like I, I had a, a fun time with it. The movie, um, you can pick at it for days. There's also, before we end, I'll, I'll point out some cool things I liked in the movie. Um, so when Ray's hitting that rock, and the tra planet with Luke. 
Um, Kylo Ren strikes Luke the same way, which is kind of interesting. Hmm. Like with the same formation. That that's a cool touch. Um, the set design yeah. was really cool in that movie. It's I like the environments, the characters, the the creatures. I like crate. Yeah, I actually thought the casino planet was a cool idea. Mm, yeah, it just kind of like, fell a little short. I like the effects. I like the idea of the lady kamikazing into the other ships. The hyperspace. Yeah, that. I actually did really too. Cool. Kind of honestly, people hated that though. I I, yeah, I liked it, but like I thought it was cool. Yeah, I thought it was really cool. Yeah, I I did too. Honestly, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That I was... can see why people would be pissed off because like you think oh. Well then, why didn't they make that into a, like a, some sort of weapon? And, and it's like I don't, I don't know. It's just a really cool thing. My, that's well, that's my. I like that part. But um, I think my favorite moments in the movie was when Kylo brings Rey to the throne room, and then like to that to the hyperspace. Oh, that was my that favorite was part of the movie. Cool too, just, yeah, yeah. just how tense it was watching it for the first time. That was cool. Mm. That's when you knew shit was gonna go down. Um, again, I, I think, like I said, Luke should have been left alive. Um, there is a lot of plot holes and we could pick at it forever mm -hmm. but can we get like a spin-off series because i want to know about Ro rose's sister that'd oh, be cool yeah. if she made like an appearance in like a prequel or uh yeah, a sequel she, that, or I have no a side show because she seemed really cool and all you do is see her die at the beginning i thought poe dameron's arc sucked in this movie i hate him <laughs> yeah I, I liked him in force awakens i'm I gonna think. make multiple mistakes even though people tell me not to do it and then all of a sudden people respect me it's like the people were still mad they're at him trying <laughs> so hard to the bad boy i don't follow directions <laughs> but i still get things right thing and it didn't work out no it didn't that was I, I hopefully didn't they like. make him better in the next i movie. hope so because he, he got a lot of people killed in the yeah. last track <laughs> Like, I want to like his character, but then he pulls stupid shit, and it's like... Yeah. I, you know, when I first watched Force Awakens, I thought he was going to be the main character. Cause I, I didn't look at any trailers or anything mm. for it. I wanted to keep it a complete surprise. Um, but anyway, do you want to do, like, a final thoughts? Um, it wasn't as bad as a movie as everybody's giving it you know, credit for. I liked it. It's a decent mm -hmm. sci-fi Star Wars movie. It's not going to be... You know what this I, is? I don't know. <laughs> that for the Star Wars universe, this movie is the Final Fantasy 13 of this universe. People are going to be talking about it for ages, and you're either going to love it or hate it. Um, I'm, I'm like a mixed bag. I like parts of it. I hate parts of it. I didn't think it was the worst thing ever, like some people do say, but I, I didn't think it was the greatest Star Wars movie. I'd put it somewhere. I'd, I actually enjoyed it more than Rogue One. I don't know where I'd put it. I'd probably put it somewhere near like the Phantom Menace or mm. Attack of the Clones. It could um, be worse. Jar Jar Binks <laughs> could make a surprise appearance. You know... I, I gotta call Jackie. Yeah, we both confessed this off camera. We, we <laughs> like Jar Jar Binks. Well, I did when I was a kid. I don't Me know too. I, I have now. a dancing Jar Jar Binks in my closet. Uh. <laughs> but I mean, you know, it's uh, my favorite two Star Wars movies were probably Empire Strikes. Actually, yeah, Empire Strikes Back was probably my favorite, like equal to the like tied with Return or Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith was one of my favorite Star Wars movies. It was everything about it—the pacing, the music. Mm. It's such a sad movie too, like especially towards the end. That fight, that scene with Obi Wan and Anakin still gets me every time it really does it's mm. it's a great movie though i mean I, I i'd like to eventually maybe go back and talk about the older movies with you because i think this was a good video jackie yeah that'd be cool to go through each movie and just watch them and I, we, I, we, I mean, I'd be down to start reviewing stuff like that on our channel. It'd be fun. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for all your support. I know you don't hear us talk about movies too much. We do our reviews once in a while. Um, we know you guys love our WoW stuff mainly, but we do like to throw in our own little plot twists. We won't do as many as The Last Jedi, though. <laughs> uh, but anyway, guys, we'll see you next time. Hello, loyal viewers. This is your war chief speaking, and I must say that Darth Vader, mm -mm, he looks very tasty. I'd love to pull off that black armor and see what beautiful man is hiding beneath. Whew. Anyways, thank you for watching, and please tune in next time, or I'll have your head on a stake.